Here's a really cool pattern that you can use in React if you're combining server and client components. Here we have our main server component that is returning a client component which accepts two components as props, component one and component two. In this file, everything is on the server, so component one and component two are server components. Now, here's the code for the client component where all of the magic happens. So here we have the props, right? Both components are a React node. Then if we scroll down here, this is the body of the client component. We have a state variable here, which can be either one or two to represent which component we want to render. And then directly in the body, we're checking that state variable and based on the variable, we're rendering one or the other component. This is really powerful. The reason this is such a good pattern is because you're using the client for what it's good at and the server for what it's good at. You're essentially getting the best of both worlds. Component one and component two over here are server components, so they never run within the client. But because of the structure here, because we're passing them through props, we can actually conditionally render them as a result of client functionality. This state variable here and chaining the state is not something that you can do on the server. You need to have a client component to be able to do that. But instead of making everything a client component, which is what most developers would do, we can actually combine them through props and let the framework, in this case Next.js, handle everything for us automatically and very efficiently. And trust me, this works. You can run this application, you can change the state as much as you want, and you will get one or the other component. So this is really cool, this is really powerful, and consider this if you're trying to mix server and client components together.